Hi, welcome to Greensburg. I'm Mayor Bob Dixon. After the 2007 tornado, Greensburg chose to rebuild back green and sustainable. So here we are on South Main Street, and this is just where the tornado entered the town. And as we look down Main Street, we can see the water tower. The tornado went from here, basically right over the top of the water tower, taking out all of Main Street, residences, churches, homes, everything was just in a pile of rubble. Trees uprooted, vehicles turned over, vehicles under trees. It was just total devastation. But in the midst of that, and in the midst of losing 11 lives, because that's a human factor of it, we were blessed with a tremendous opportunity to build a community back, build it green and sustainable, like our ancestors built for us. It's about what we can do for future generations and be good stewards of those resources. In our planning process after the tornado, we wanted to make sure that we maximize the resources available. This building, the Kiowa County Commons, holds four different entities under one roof, and it maximizes the building costs, the energy efficiency, it has solar on the roof, it has geothermal wells, and also in the lobby of the Kiowa County Commons is the old soda fountain out of our drugstore that was downtown Main Street. So that is some of that heritage and history that we've been able to preserve. This is Main Street, Greensburg, Kansas. Every building was leveled here and you can see as we travel the brand new shops as we go down the street, the beautiful new streetscape that we put in. The streetscape not only beautifies the community, but as the trees get taller, will help shade the buildings and make it more energy efficient. Everyone in Greensburg built back as green as they could with the green that they had available. A lot of the buildings here in town, from traditional stick building to insulated concrete forms to SIPS panels, didn't go through a LEED certification process, but their energy consumption is on the average, at least average, clear across 40% better savings than what was there before. We have some buildings and homes in town that are as high as 80 and 90% more efficient. Does it cost a little money extra to build those? Yes, it does, but you know what? In the long term, you're gonna amortize that and save that on your energy costs and your long-term maintenance. All of us had to educate ourselves on what we wanted to do. Myself, it was the right thing to do to build sustainable. And I think Mayor Dixon is a good example. He does a lot more traveling than I certainly know about, but he is getting the Greensburg message out on one, what Greensburg has done so far, we're still in the process, and he's an encouragement to other disaster areas on how they can build sustainable. His leadership has been very good in guiding the city entity itself in, in uh, building, building as sustainable as possible and getting, again, getting the message out to the rest of the country, the rest of the world. We have visitors in Greensburg from really all over the world that come to see the living science experiment of sustainability. My passion, and I think quite a few people's passion in Greensburg of being green and sustainable, is from what our ancestors taught us, of environmental stewardship. They really were the original green people who knew how to utilize the wind, knew how to utilize the sun, 
and our geothermal that we have all over town in buildings, that life-sustaining water that comes up from the ground is 56 degrees. How do we utilize that? So those practices that our ancestors used all the time, uh, or they were the original green people until we made it political. And we got other factors involved. I think back, even on the plains of western Kansas, several generations ago, we had wind chargers, which now we call wind turbines that were 32 volt systems that generate electricity for lights in their homes and their barns before there ever was rural electrification that ran lines to their house. So these are nothing new. What we have the advantage here in Greensburg, and we like to call ourselves a living laboratory, where you can come see, touch, feel, hear, and do advanced building materials, advanced heating and air conditioning systems, all kinds of green and sustainable practices that you can come and just see in this living laboratory.